Hi there, my name is Cameron Phillips and I am today's EF guest vlogger. And in today's travel guide, we're going over one of my favorite cities in the world, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite activities, favorite restaurants, and things that you can do to experience Vancouver. Vancouver is an incredible city with the perfect harmony of vibrant city life and epic nature at your doorstep. There is no shortage of amazing things to do in Vancouver. In today's video guide, I'm gonna take you through three neighborhoods and in each neighborhood, I'm gonna share with you a restaurant, an activity, and a cafe. And overall, leave you with an incredible experience guide to get out and experience Canada's third largest city. The first neighborhood we're exploring today is Gastown, which is located right in downtown Vancouver along the water. Gastown is known for its historical charm, urban delight, and a large variety of walkable restaurants and shops that you can explore all afternoon. While strolling the streets of Gastown, you'll come across the historic steam clock. Now, while the clock actually isn't a historical artifact, it was built in more modern times, it is a nod to the historical area of Gastown, which was the first settled area of the greater Vancouver area and from which the city grew. Much of downtown Vancouver is heated with steam pipes that run underneath the city, and this clock runs off of those very steam pipes. And every 15 minutes, the clock comes alive with bells and whistles, and it's a fun sight to see while exploring the downtown area of Vancouver. While in Gastown, make sure to check out Revolve over coffee, a local coffee shop serving up some of the best brews in downtown Vancouver. Take a short walk from Gastown over to Canada Place, which is located right in the heart of downtown Vancouver. From here you can get a beautiful view of the mountains, watch the seaplanes come and go, and get a beautiful feel for the synergy of nature and city located in downtown Vancouver. Right at Canada Place you'll find my restaurant recommendation, which is Cactus Club. Cactus Club serves a variety of fresh North American cuisine, and it was actually founded in Vancouver, and now it is a national chain, so you're gonna get a little bit of Vancouver flair by visiting Cactus Club. What's great about it too is that you're right on the water with amazing views of that same city and mountain skyline. And from Cactus Club, you'll actually be able to see our next activity for the downtown area, which is visiting Stanley Park. Stanley Park is a large nature reserve right in the heart of downtown Vancouver, where the city meets the ocean. On this peninsula, you'll find a variety of trails, redwood trees. It's a great way to get out of the city and connect with nature, which is part of what makes Vancouver such a livable city. Around the edge of Stanley Park is known as the Seawall, and it's a nine kilometer path that you'll find people running, biking, and walking right in the heart of downtown. It's such a great escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. But that nine kilometer path is actually a part of a greater 26 kilometer path that runs right from downtown all the way through Stanley Park and all the way to our next destination, which is the neighborhood of Kitsilano. Kitsilano is located just south of downtown Vancouver and is known for being hip and vibrant and full of youth. What makes Kitsilano special is the beach. And you'll find Vancouverites from all over the city gathering at Kitsilano Beach to take in a beautiful sunset, picnic with friends, and enjoy the incredible atmosphere. The activity that I'm recommending is exactly that. Go and have a picnic on the beach, take in a sunset, play some volleyball, go for a run, get outside and experience the beautiful views that can be found along Kitsilano Beach. And right across the street from the beach is actually my restaurant recommendation, which is Nook. An upscale casual Italian restaurant featuring incredible pastas, pizzas, and antipasto. Nook would be a great place to stop and have some lunch or even dinner. I would totally recommend it. Just a few blocks up from the beach you'll find 4th Avenue which is home to so many different shops, cafes, and boutiques. You can spend hours going down the street finding different niche stores to go into, bookshops, cafes, clothing stores. On 4th Avenue I'm going to recommend a coffee shop called There There which has amazing quality coffee and great sandwiches, pastries, and snacks to get you through the day. It's a great place to break up an afternoon filled with shopping, and I think you'll love it. And from here along 4th Avenue, it's only a 20 minute walk to our third and final neighborhood of this travel guide, Granville Island. Now Granville Island is a small section that's home to a large public food market, a variety of restaurants, fine art galleries, a marina, coffee shops, and a variety of shopping. It's a great place to spend an afternoon shopping around, taking in the beautiful views, and grabbing a bite to eat, which is why I'm recommending it in today's guide. While you're in Granville Island, make sure to check out the public food market. It is such a great place to find local produce. And inside of the market, there's a whole bunch of food vendors, including the one I'm gonna recommend today, which is Celine's Fish and Chips. Now at Celine's, I recommend the Salmon and Chips, which is great. Pacific Northwest fresh caught salmon from local waters, deep fried, served with beautiful french fries, and it is so delicious. The richness of the salmon is such a nice treat when compared to regular fish and chips, and I love it. You can take your food outside and get a view of the city and the harbor and watch the boats come and go as you eat your salmon and chips. And after you're done, wash it down with a coffee from Blue Parrot Cafe, a famous coffee shop right in the heart of Granville Market. And with that, that concludes my short travel guide to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. There are so many great things to do in this city that's consistently ranked one of the best places to live in the world, and I hope this travel guide gets you started exploring some of the magic it has to offer. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to EF for more travel guides just like this. 
and I hope you have a great time exploring Vancouver.